In this video, we're gonna talk about why you don't have to worry about the Yoast green light anymore and how to improve your website content so that you can rank higher in Google. That's all we wanna do, right? Hey, I'm Ashley from Mad Lemmings and in this channel we talk all about SEO for WordPress and creating awesome WordPress websites and how to improve yours and get the most out of your online presence. If you want to hit subscribe down below, you can get more videos like this and improve your website too. So it used to be in the old days you wanted to put your keyword in Yoast in the focus keyword field in order to rank higher on Google. You put your word in and you look for the green light from Yoast, you want to get the thumbs up from Yoast. But the problem is that's not really relevant anymore. Everyone's using Yoast. I have clients and students saying, hey, Ashley, I'm not getting the green light on Yoast. I'm not going to rank on Google. It's not going to work. It's not important anymore. You really should forget about that stupid focus keyword field and just do a couple of small things on your post instead and you'll still rank on Google. You see, the problem is these days, Google's not interested in the keywords so much anymore. They understand how keywords can be related to other words and how they can be similar words and synonyms and topics. And they're looking for all of those things. LSI keywords, that's another video that I've made that I'll uh, link to up here. So if you wanna know how to actually rank you basically just need to write really, really useful content on a particular topic. Now that topic may be focused on a keyword and you can still use your keyword here and there, but you don't have to worry about it anymore. There's only a couple of places you need to put your keywords and I'll get to that at the very end. But what I wanna get across right now is you can forget about Yoast. Yoast is gonna mislead you because if you put in your keyword, and you haven't actually used the exact keyword, Yoast is gonna say, red, you're not ranking for Google. But if you put a word between your main keywords, let's say dog treats is your main word, and you have treats for dogs, Yoast's gonna say your keyword's not there. But Google understands that dog treats and treats for dogs are the same thing. You understand they're the same thing, and Google understands they're the same thing. So don't worry about your focus keywords and getting a green light in Yoast. Basically, just write naturally the best piece of content you can on a given topic, and that's all you really need to do. So you make sure you break up your content into relevant topics and subtopics, and you go and do your research, you look at keyword tools, you see related keywords, you see what's ranking on Google, which is important, that gives you an indication of what is possible to get on the top of Google. If you're writing something completely different, you may not get on the top. And then once you've planned out your content, you write your content at the very end, just before you publish, instead of going into Yoast, just double check everything and then get your keywords or at least similar keywords into the title, maybe the URL and a couple of places in the content. That is all I do and I still rank on Google. I get stuff ranking number one within weeks on one of my niche websites just because I pick lower uh, competition keywords and it's really easy to get to the top but I actually almost do no optimization. I just get my keywords into the title and into the URL and then I write naturally and you shouldn't have to worry about this yo stuff. But if you want to do it, just get your keywords into the main top title and the URL and maybe the first paragraph and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. Just focus on writing awesome content to make your users happy and answer the question, the query, the keyword that they're typing into Google. If they're looking for dog treats, give them the best post on dog treats that you can possibly write for them. And that's all you need to do. So Yoast is toast people forget about it. You don't need to worry about it. That is it. So if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll be publishing every week stuff on WordPress, building an awesome website and improving your SEO. And if you want to see more videos like that, all you have to do is click here or subscribe here and you should be good to go. I'll see you guys in the next video.